I'm going to read it again. Busy Freeman uh, asked the following question. Chicho, what's your take on the debt default coming up? We are supposed to go into recession, even though by the classic definition, we are already in a recession. They changed the definition. Indeed, we are already two quarters of negative growth or zero growth. And we're already in a recession, but they changed the definition. They're re redefining everything, right? It, it, it's a fake, fake system that they're, they're selling, really, right? And what it is right now is we're about to go through a major change in our civilization major, major huge right unprecedented nothing like this in our lifetimes our parents lifetimes or our grandparents lifetimes has taken place like this world war ii level but more so this is in my opinion the changes taking place right now are bigger than the changes taking that took place after world war ii right so the opportunities to establish yourself to to introduce new systems to look into what disruptive innovation is coming into play what holes there are in society right in our communities and filling those gaps are tremendous mm -hmm. tremendous tremendous anyone that has attached themselves to centralized power they're in deep shit right because as busy freeman stated we're going into defaults not just defaults of companies banking crisis and stuff defaults of countries right the united states will be the last to default canada might be second last maybe Canada's in deep shit too, right? So we're in in a, in a time of serious economic crisis for me and you, Joe Blow, right? The regular working folk. The extremely wealthy are getting wealthier because they have access to free money, right? meanwhile interest rates are kicking up inflation is kicking up so for example if someone's making a hundred thousand dollars and they used to spend you know let's say a third of their income on food right and a third on shelter now they're spending about 50 percent on food 50 percent on shelter and that's kicking up higher right and add to that any debts that they might have had and stuff like this so my take on the coming debt defaults that are going to take place in private as well right as well as um, corporate as well as well as uh, states right is there's going to be a lot of holes being created in our societies and that's an opportunity for us to fill in those gaps and provide a service to the community uh, that is going to be lacking right so we're going into complete privatization of everything i'm not sure how long this fascist communist phase wave is going to last some places is going to collapse right away some places are going to try to hold on to it as long as possible for example british columbia canada they're trying to centralize more communist fascist more 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 and more at some point people will get fucking they lose everything and then they rise up to introduce something new our job is to provide the alternative okay that's what our job is now you're gonna to have to figure out what the gaps are going to be in society that are gonna need filling because no one's gonna no one no one in their right mind should trust government now no one in their right mind should trust corporations now right so build something that is outside of this whole thing right economically uh, in terms of supply chain in terms of marketing everything decouple yourself from centralized power okay that includes centralized corporations centralized governments centralized institutions everything centralized is on the verge of collapse that's my that's what my take is okay that's what i've been working towards for two decades